May bagong programa ang Department of Social Welfare and Development kasunod ng pagkakalagda ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa Executive Order Number no. 27 o ang Reorganization sa Interagency Task Force on Zero Hunger. The program aims to alleviate hunger and poverty for families belonging to the lowest income bracket. Bagong programa ang Department of Social Welfare and Development kasunod ng pagkakalagda ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa Executive Order No. 27 o ang Reorganization sa Interagency Task Force on Zero Hunger. The program aims to alleviate hunger and poverty for families belonging to the lowest income bracket. With the Philippine Development Agenda 2023 to 20 transfers, that will be loaded with food credits amounting to 3,000 pesos to purchase a select list of food commodities from DSWD accredited local retailers. Zach, is this conditional? Yes. Um, Ivan, when I joined the DSWD, we said that we want to recalibrate every single thing that we do there to turn it developmental. To make it developmental, four things has to happen. One, it should be targeted. It's not a shotgun that everybody, uh, even yung hindi nangangailangan, eh, makakatanggap. We target those that need it the most. Two, it should be conditional. Three, it should be measurable. And four, there should be clear exit mechanisms so that it doesn't turn into one program on top of another program. In the case of the food stamps, ang plan natin dyan, like I said, it's targeted because we've already identified the 1 million food poor families. These are families that do not make beyond 8,000 pesos according to the PSA. 8,000 pesos monthly. So that's the target side of it. It's conditional. Similar to other uh, food stamp programs, uh, there will be a work component to it. Ang argumento kasi ngayon, di ba, pag gutom ang isang individual, hindi siya makaparticipate, hindi siya makatrabaho. Uh, kulang yung caloric intake. So kung hindi siya makapagtrabaho, hindi siya produktibong mamamayan ng ating bansa. So ang gagawin natin dito, we will supplement the family's intake so that they mawala yung feeling of hunger, thereby makahanap siya ng trabaho, and thereby they become part of the workforce of the country. Ang condition nga doon is, uh, when you get the, when you're signed up, you have to go to your nearest public employment office, get a certification that you are now partaking, being part, being counted as part of the workforce. No matter what job it is, alam naman natin, iba-ibang skill sets, iba-ibang iba -ibang angkop na trabaho. Pero ang importante, nagtatrabaho. And to give us more details on the food stamp program, we have DSWD Secretary Rex Gachalian. Good morning, Secretary Gachalian. Good morning. Maraming salamat. And, um, so before I uh, go into the details of the program, I'd like to put it in context in relation to the new executive order on uh, hunger. Let me just read a prepared statement by the department. Magandang uh, umaga, with the restructuring of the interagency task force on zero hunger, we are assured of a stronger and more efficient system and mechanism to mitigate hunger and poverty in the country. This is also part of our commitment to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and attaining the ambition natin 2040. In line with this development, I am proud to present to you the Department of Social Welfare and Development's new program that will provide food augmentation to our to food poor families, also known as Walang Gutom 2027, the food stamp program. The program is anchored with the Philippine Development Agenda 2023 to 20 transfers that will be loaded with food credits amounting to 3,000 pesos to purchase a select list of food commodities from DSWD accredited local retailers. The Walang Gutom 2027 intends to target the bottom 1 million households from list Tahanan 3 who belong to the food poor criteria as defined by the Philippine Statistics Authority. We believe that this program will properly address the gaps and assist its beneficiaries in attaining the recommended food and energy consumption needed for each member to perform their daily tasks and routines that has direct and indirect contribution to human capitalization and a direct positive impact towards nation building. In other words, by meeting the daily food requirements of its target beneficiaries, the said program will sufficiently mitigate hunger due to extreme poverty. 
Lastly, the DSWD hopes that through Walang Gutom 2027, the country will be able to combat hunger and achieve food security towards the realization of a zero hunger Philippines. Maraming salamat. Sir, paano natin masisiguro na sa pagkain lang magagastos yung 3,000? It's a very excellent question and I will now borrow the president's line. We use food as currency. Meaning, the digital cards kasi that will be given to them, let me just point out that this is also in tune with the president's drive na digitalization. Baka iniisip natin, these are like your manual food stamps na mano-mano, no more. We're working with the WFP on a digital platform wherein they get tap cards. Now, the tap cards will not be loaded with money, but they will be loaded with food equivalent. Meaning, we also work with the FNRI family in crafting the program wherein they, I created multiple baskets to choose from. So, in baskets are always composed of 50% carbs, 30% protein, 20% uh, fats. So, mamimili ka lang within the food group. So, let's say you go to an accredited uh, partner uh, retailer. You get to choose lang from a selected list of food items in that food group. So kung carbs, it's either rice or whatever you may have. So hindi to tipong cash na ibibigay natin. We use food as currency. Um, uh, I'm sure somebody will ask that. Who are the retailers? I just That's the exciting part for us. Eh. What we're doing right now is creating a whole ecosystem of farm to table. Remember, the president's drive was making sure that our farmers are taken care of. And that's why he set up yung mga kadiwa ng Pangulo that's the farm to make market part one. The part two is we extend that ecosystem to tape market to table. So with a million Filipino families subscribed to it, we can also tap into our kadiwa ng mga pangulo as outlets. Two, uh, MSMEs, mga mom and pops groceries. And three, obviously, because of their scale and their magnitude, mga big grocers. We've spoken to them, every single brand there is, and there's an appetite to participate in this program because we want it to become a movement. Ending hunger is not just the government's job. Ending hunger is everybody's job. It's not right that a million Filipino families are sleeping hungry and saying na bukas I've lost all uh, will to get out of poverty kasi chronic na yung poverty nila. Eh. Kung gutom ka ngayon, hindi ka makakapagtrabaho, bukas gutom ka na naman. And the cycle keeps on going around and around and around. Bagong programa ang Department of Social Welfare and Development kasunod ng pagkakalagda ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa Executive Order Number 27 o ang reorganization sa Interagency Task Force on Zero Hunger. The program aims to alleviate hunger and poverty for families belonging to the lowest income bracket. With the Philippine Development Agenda 2023 to 20 transfers that will be loaded with food credits amounting to 3,000 pesos to purchase a select list of food commodities from DSWD-accredited local retailers.